Hi, my name is Tieran. I'm the Applications Engineer here at Vetus Maxwell USA. And we are here to talk to you today about one of our most popular series of windlasses, the Freedom Series. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to identify which model Freedom you may have, how to remove it from your boat, and which current model most easily replaces it. Introduced in the 1990s, the Freedom Series was an instant hit and used in thousands of boats until 2009 when it was replaced by the RC-8. The Freedom Series can be easily identified by the charcoal gray case enclosing the entire chain wheel of the unit. Additionally, there will be two star-shaped holes on the top of the unit. The outer hole will be stamped with the model number either 500 or 800. Next step, we're going to get into the windlass itself. It's pretty simple. We start with the nut on the top of the windlass here this uh, slotted screwdriver nut. We're gonna re remove that. Let's get you a big flat head. Take that right out of there. Unscrews all the way. There's a washer in there. You wanna make sure you don't lose your washer. Cause you're on the front of the boat and all this stuff tends to go in the water if you're not careful. Next you wanna remove the clutch cone which is right here. Uh, it just spins off if it's really stubborn. You want to get your winch handle in there and just crank it off. Unscrew that all the way. Again, making sure you don't drop any of this in the water. Being careful because they're heavy parts. Take that off. After that, there is a wave washer, or excuse me, a uh, keyed washer underneath the clutch nut, which you want to get your screwdriver under. I'll try to get this out of here. Shimmy it up the keyway. A little tricky, takes a little finesse. Get that out of there. That to the side. Next comes the whole chain wheel will come out, which uh, after you have your chain and road out of here, I like to get my finger in here and kind of pry up. You can also take your screwdriver and kind of get under it. Oops. So it may take you a minute couple little tries but get a hold of that there shimmy it on out of there a little finesse then there will be the pressure paw will actually be catching on the bottom of the chain wheel so if you get your screwdriver in there just kind of push that back under the pressure arm inside and that all comes out that's your top clutch here stripper paw and inside you'll see that we have our pressure arm probably the reason you're in here to replace this um, and then your lower clutch plate uh, the pressure arm is the next piece that comes out it's quite easy uh, there's this little metal pin here you just get your screwdriver underneath Pry that up like that. Pull this up. This whole arm should come out of here pretty easily. Just like that. That aside. Uh, talk about a couple of the replacement items that are available for these units. Uh, this being the pressure arm. Um, most common problem with these units is this pressure arm breaks after the road and chain may bind inside the case here um, and it'll break this. Uh, easily available, readily available through any of our distributors in the US and around the world pretty much. Uh, the second most common problem with these units that we've encountered is the stripper arm itself breaks inside the chain wheel itself. Um, this again another easily readily available part um, for replacement to keep your windows going. And if you're in here to replace these parts, uh, it's also a good idea to do the whole service, which is very simple. It just uh, involves putting a nice coat of bearing grease or waterproof grease on these clutch surfaces here and here. It's actually labeled on the lower cone to, uh, uh, that you need to, it's important, regularly lubricate with a lithium-based grease on outer surfaces. So. Pretty easy, spelled out right for you inside there. All right, so now we'll talk about putting it back together, pretty much reverse of dismantle. 
Uh, you want to make sure your pressure arm lower leg goes into the hole that's uh, in the windlass itself. And then this pin slides in on the top. Again, very simple. It's in there like that. Push that all down. You can use your screwdriver to make sure it's snug. Good to go. Installing the chain wheel is a bit of a knack because of the stripper here. You can see it has uh, this peg here which aligns in a hole in the windlass um, and also this slotted end here which will sit on a key inside the case of the windlass. Uh, to get it around the pressure arm, you kind of have to come in at an angle. Make sure your stripper arm's lined up where it needs to go. Sometimes it goes easy, sometimes it doesn't. So if the pressure arm gets hung up, you can use a screwdriver to kind of get behind it and push it back. Again, you just have to finesse it in there. Just like that. Next will be your keyed washer. Back on there. And you have your clutch nut. A little grease in here is a good idea. On your threads. Spin that back down. Washer and screw back in. Screw this back down, make sure she's tight. There you go. That's that. So, to make replacement of the Freedom Series as easy as possible, Maxwell Engineers uh, came up with the RC Series of windlasses as a direct replacement for the Freedom Series. Um, back to what we were talking about with identifying the Freedom Series with either the 500 or the 800 on the chain wheel will denote which RC Series you would need for replacement. The 500 on the Freedom would be replaced with the RC86. The 800 would be the RC88. All right, let's talk about the RC8 a little bit and uh, some obvious changes to the old Freedom Series and improvements. First off, you can see that the uh, chain wheel is not enclosed fully as in the Freedom Series. Um, this allows for a little more freedom of movement of the chain and road. Also, if you have an issue, you can pull it off the chain wheel easier uh, if you have a bunch or a knot or something like that. Second off, uh, you can see that the pressure arm is now nice stainless steel, no longer plastic, heavy duty. Um, again, easily accessible so you can pull it out of the way, strip off the line if you need to uh, unclog it or uh, unfoul it. Uh, nice improvement there. Uh, the stripper wheel is the same. Your clutch nuts just about the same with your star series on it and underneath, we come up underneath here, we're going to see that the mounting holes are the same. Should be a direct replacement, like I said, your three, your three nuts here and bolts. Um, and your gearbox with the clutch uh, nut on here. One other thing about the RC series is the chain hoss pipe or chain pipe hole is now larger, so you'll have to enlarge it on your deck just slightly, um, and that'll give you worry-free uh, recovery of the road and chain um, without it hanging or bunching uh, on a small hole. Seeing that the Freedom Series has been out of production for more than 20 years now, some of you may be finding that you'll have to replace the entire unit. Um, Maxwell engineers have engineered a direct replacement for this unit in the RC Series. And next we'll go over how to get your old unit out of your boat and get your new unit in. Well, here we are in our anchor locker of our simulated boat and you'll see the bottom of the Freedom Series of windlass. Basically we have our gearbox here and you'll have a motor attached to this gearbox here. Uh, step one is to power everything down, uh, make sure you're safe in that aspect. Step two would be to remove the actual motor, which would be held on by two bolts here and here. He's come out, remove the motor, put it to the side. Next, we want to get the gearbox off of the shaft here, because um, <clears throat> it's not going to go up through the deck, obviously with the gearbox on it. So, the main shaft protrudes through the gearbox down here, and is held with this circlip. 
we're going to remove this clip very easily take that to the side and then come up here to this big uh, locking nut here where we will undo that and you can see this has some dog teeth underneath it that hold it from stop spinning and this should drop away as I said, these haven't been produced in 20 years. Some of them in the field are over that old uh, and probably never had this done. So they may stick, may get hung up on here. We'll talk about that later. Uh, basically showing everybody that there aren't really any secrets. If it is hanging on here, all it's gonna take is a little more uh, elbow grease and force. So uh, next, all that's left is your nuts and bolts for your mounting hardware, these are nice and loose. Obviously you'd have to get a deep socket or a box end or open end wrench to get these off. Make sure you retain your hardware. So we all know if you drop this stuff, the boat has a tendency to eat it. And that should be it. And then we come back up to the top, climb on back on top deck, and you should be able to lift this unit out at this point. All right, well that about concludes our uh, quick class today on the RC series and the Freedom series and the replacement for each. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was informative and uh, check back often for new videos and updates. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna clap you in and then whenever you want. Okay. Good morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man, that's a no goofy dude. I'm sorry. sorry, this is a closed set, sir. You want to fix your. <laughs> no, that's part of the. Oh. I know. Every 30 seconds, Thurgood Marshall. <laughs> the worst part is yeah. <laughs> BWI. Let's talk about that. Thurgood Marshall introduced a GPS tracking system <laughs> that allows him to land twice as many planes in an hour. That's right. <laughs>